Today is World No Tobacco Day and Nigeria is joining the rest of the world to commemorate the day. This year's theme is protecting the youth from industry manipulation and preventing them from tobacco and nicotine use. The motivation behind the theme is the tobacco industry's manipulation of the youth to become smokers through use of youth appealing flavors in cigarettes, false claims of harm reduction, sponsoring celebrities or influencers amongst others. The WHO believes the youth can also play lead roles in counter-marketing the tobacco industry and exposing their lies. Joining me now is Akimbodi Oluwafemi. He is the Deputy Executive Director of the Environmental Rights Action Friends of the Earth Nigeria. He's one of uh, the organizations advocating uh, strong tobacco laws. I'm talking about ERA and Friends of the Earth. Uh, well, thank you very much, Mr. Akimbodi, for joining us uh, on a day like this to talk about the advocacy uh, against uh, no tobacco. So, well, let's begin with the achievements uh, that have been on record here in Nigeria, talking about this long advocacy uh, and the commemoration of a day like this. Well, um, in terms of achievement is the fact that Nigeria has the National Tobacco Control Act 2015 and um, the National Tobacco Control Regulation 2019. Uh, but if I may add, the fact still remains that enforcement of those laws are extremely low. And um, particularly the fact that the tobacco industry is coming up with different ways of recruiting youths into smoking. Nigeria has suddenly become a major market of manipulative products like shisha, uh, e-cigarettes, and the rest of them. And the reason for this is very simple. Um, if you have an industry that kills about 8 million people every year globally, uh, you need to recruit um, new clients, new customers. And the youth are being the targets of the tobacco industry uh, through some of those activities that you have mentioned, you know, using influencers now on social media, safety products like shisha, you know, vaping, like I earlier mentioned. And of course, a lot of activities that we've seen now in terms of their corporate social responsibility to, to paint themselves um, as a quote and unquote socially responsible organization. But the fact remains also that, you know, this period of the COVID-19 pandemic has also exposed the fact that here is a product that targets and damaged lungs, uh, regardless of your race, your tribe, or your age. And scientists have also come to tell us that you know, if you are a smoker, you are at a very, very high risk if you con uh, contract COVID-19 or developing com complications or even dying. And Absolutely. even COVID-19 survivors come out to tell us that the biggest issue is the state of your lungs. And that's what the tobacco compromises. Right. Uh, and then, so the WHO and, of course, um, groups like... Um, FRA, ERA, I should say now, uh, have long been talking about, you know, this advocacy. But why are tobacco companies particularly, you know, targeting the youth? You know, as I said earlier, you know, you sell a product that kills your customers. You need to recruit new customers. I, of course, you know that the youth are extremely gullible. They, uh, you know, some of them, you know, they like fancy stores in the era of digital this and that, influencers and all, also, also on the social media. And the, the fact that they are developing products that are particularly targeting to use, you know, adding flavors like, uh, you know, banana, you know, all sorts of flavors, apple, that are very attractive to the use. And of course, products like, you know, the baby product that I mentioned, if you see those products, they are, they look very fancy, they look very beautiful and attractive to the youth. And that's why today, specifically, WHO is drawing attention of the world, and particularly the youth now to say, look, why can't you turn the table? And in Africa, we are now saying, uh, we have to turn it down. Uh, youths in Africa should turn down the act of smoking and turn up the out, out of healthy lifestyles because, you know, there's nothing they gain from smoking other than, you know, compromising their, their health and, and ultimately death. Right. E ERA and FOEN are also, you know, talking about uh, the enforcement, strict enforcement of the National Tobacco Control uh, Act, now a law here in Nigeria. Uh, does this law also, you know, afford the youth uh, the 
power to recognize these booby traps uh, being utilized by tobacco companies? Let me tell you that those two laws are not where we want them to, to, to be. But it, they are actually good enough for us to start. There are provisions within those laws that, you know, talks about marketing to youth. Actually, in Nigeria, it's illegal for you now to sell tobacco products to any person that is under 18. It is illegal for you to sell cigarettes in single sticks. And what we're asking the government to do, particularly if you look at that statement that we push out today, is that let us use this occasion now, again, to begin to look at those laws and how we can effectively enforce them across all the states. The state's government have a role to play in all this. Um, the federal government already has that law. So we expect these things that looks a little bit progressive, like Lagos, that are interested in protecting the lives of the people to begin to do something about, about those laws. And talking about counter-marketing strategies now, which the WHO, or which has also been advocated now, uh, what would you suggest still targeting the youth, but this so time this is, in counter-marketing strategies? So this is what we're trying to do. We are trying to rescue and turn around the table. So we're going back to the youth. We're going back to our media. We're going back to our entertainment to say, hello, to say, look, you can also be a champion. Now we begin to see champions. There's a music producer in Nigeria today called Reflex Sound that's been so active, you know, telling his colleagues about the dangers of smoking. And so we begin to, to, to encourage youths like us to come up and, you know, be champions among the youth to not to engage in smoking. Thank you very much, Akimbo Femi, for your contributions on the news.